maniac in my bedroom and he's got a knife. Okay, we're at the Lowe's. Going to the Lowe's and we're gonna get some tools. What are we getting? So what's going on? Did you want, are you interested in the washer today? I have a variety of options for you. I have a Samsung in stock. Do oh, do you work here? Yeah, I do. Work you work here. at Lowe's? I do. And we have so much room, guys. It took up the whole storage compartment of the other trailer. And look at this. Yep. Okay, so on today's video, what we're gonna do, one of the main things we're gonna do is we want our air compressor. We need our air compressor. We use it a lot on trips. This is locked. I'll open it in a minute. It's gonna go in there. I already have the tank in there. other trailer the compartment was so small I had to mount the tank and the compressor separately because it was too tall to fit so I have the compressor right there with the line that I made to uh, reach over to the tank after this was mounted uh, but we don't have to do that in this trailer so I'm going to remount the compressor back onto the tank as one unit put it all back together and get it mounted in there so that's what we're going to do today I'll be right back. Okay, so what are we doing? Whoa, I looked right at the sign. We are uh, finishing our trailer prep because we have Glamis President's Day weekend, which is not that far away. And um, so we're playing with our new toy. Yeah. And we're gonna mount the air compressor today down here in the uh, storage compartment. And we have so much room, guys. It took up the whole storage compartment of the other trailer. And look at this. Yeah. I'm gonna get in there and do activities while we mount it. Now we're gonna set the tank. I'm trying to think of the best way to do this. Maybe set the tank in. It's gonna be awesome. Yeah, so we've been playing with different ideas and here's what we came up with. It's kind of inconvenient to have the air compressor so far away, but ultimately what we have, so I had the compressor this way, I had, I had okay, real quick. The compressor motor cannot be on top of the tank. It doesn't fit height-wise. On the other trailer, the compartment was so small I had to mount the tank and the compressor separately because it was too tall to fit uh but we don't have to do that in this trailer that's right so we have to again mount it separately like we did in the other trailer right or get a smaller compressor in this one actually we need this big of a compressor for what we do what we decided is to put the tank right here we're going to put the air compressor right here kind of blocking off to the other side the reason being is because that's like as far as you can reach right so, so really basically usable. it's not usable right here from here you will go to the other side so we're so using that our dead space yeah so that would leave yeah we're going to use the dead space for the compressor so that leaves the whole other side for um lawn chairs stuff like that <clears throat> yeah, and here's our yeah. table this is all tools yep this is all for tools okay that's going to eventually go up. somewhere else but we stand it up all the way in there and we'll put the sockets in there too put all this stuff in here and then we don't have to drag it back in the garage because we're going to be using it out here. I'm um, at Cam White. Look at the garage. Show them the garage. So please show. Believe it or not, this, 90% of this mess is just from cleaning out the old trailer, the small trailer. I'm not sure how we off, how, I'm not sure how we fit all of this in there. Oh, so that way when I clean it, they can see the magnificent transformation. Yeah. Look at all this room we're gonna have for tools. It's gonna be amazing. God, I can't believe you found the hardware as soon as I got the new hardware. <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. Little truck section. Yep. Look at that. So much room. And I know, of course, we'll use all that up and wish we had more again, but. I bought this for in here. But it's still better than what we had, for sure. Because we okay. had all this stuff with us in the last trailer, and yeah, it was hard to get to. You know what we need to do? What? You need a um, paper towel dispenser. Oh, yeah. Okay. Right there. So okay. we're using that space. Okay. All right. Off to Lowe's we goes. Off to Lowe's we goes. Yeah. Lowe's. Going to the Lowe's, and we're going to get some tools. What are we getting? Hardware, accessories. We got to get um, some. We gotta get an air fitting. I have the list. We gotta get a little fitting to 
put a 90 on our the drain of the air compressor uh, we need to get a 90 to put on the outlet of the air compressor because uh, the way we're gonna mount the air compressor the the um, what's it called the quick connect for the air com you know the airline is gonna be pointing straight at the wall we want it to be pointing out of the box storage right. box so we're, we're getting those two things and some, some lag screws some lag screws we're getting some hose and we're getting some, some feet. hose so that we can run the um, street drain of the air tank out of the um, door of the storage compartment okay. so that we're not draining rusty water inside we already did that this morning yeah it was awesome and then we got to get some rubber feet for the compressor and some rubber feet for the compressor that's it let's that's go it. check this out that's it. let's go to Lowe's so what's going on? Did you want, are you interested in the washer today? I have a variety of options for you. I have a Samsung in stock. Do oh, you do you work here? Yeah, I do. Yeah, work. You work at Lowe's? I do. Cool. Um, can't you tell I'm wearing a plaid shirt? Why, this is a worker shirt. I get it. All right, we're at Lowe's. This is a sidetrack. Um, we came to get some hardware to mount the, what did we come to get? We came to get some feet, rubber feet. We came to get some lag screws. We came to get some- Hardware um, to mount the air compressor. But we got sidetracked because we do have an issue with our washing machine and we need another one. We don't want to spend the money on a washer because we just bought a trailer. The trailer has a washer hookup. We'll put that one in there. Not. So, we're going to get this guy. Pretty cool check. But no agitator. It's a Samsung. I don't know how it works. Put li liquid bleach only. Um, soap somewhere. I don't know. I don't know how it works, but it works, I'm sure. So we're gonna get this one. We'll be right back. Okay, we got a stainless steel lug bolts. Listen to me, people are lazy. That's a self lawn. <laughs> that's not lazy, that's some Badass. lard. How know, much I'm money kidding. do you make with mowing your lawn? Ten dollars. Nothing. We have to we have to uh, pay. pay someone to do it. Less than sixty. The problem is here. The problem is... We pay them $240 a year. That would take eight years to pay off our gardener. <laughs> yeah, we get a good deal. We have a small lawn. Not worth it to us. Anyway, we're <laughs> going to go on a trek about the lows. Okay, what do you think? I like that one. So we need a box. What we need is we need a box that goes uh, in our little compartment. Because the box we have right now is way too big. It's going to take up too much space. It's bulky, it's, it's, it's heavy. And it's not actually full. Yeah, it's bulky, it's heavy. It's made. It's really made for the back of the truck. So we're thinking this one. What do you think? I think that's a good one. This, uh... Show them that one. It's this one? Yeah. So this is a Craftsman. It's water sealed. And anything so. we have that's too big to fit, it's just going to hold wrenches and stuff like that, hammers. And they're already in separate bags, and I think they I know they would all fit in here. Yeah. Steve? Anything that doesn't, we have room to set it in that compartment somewhere. Yeah, but, yeah, exactly. But I'm pretty sure we do have room. We don't need to worry about storage ever again. All right. So we're going to get this one. Yeah. This is the winner. Winner, winner. And now we also got to, I don't think this was on the list. And nothing, we haven't got anything is. on the list yet. All right, here we go. Yeah, we came here for uh, a few items, and so far we bought a washer and a toolbox. Well, oh no, we did get some screws. Yeah, all right, we'll be right back. Okay, so we went and picked up a few things. We had stuck all of our stuff back in here. This is what it looks like, at least temporarily for now. Roughly organized. This is not mounted yet, but it's gonna be mounted right there. Compressor back there, you can see that leaves all out of this room. For tools, we're gonna do that right now. We're gonna do a little time lapse. Here we go.
Okay, so here's what's going on. I uh, marked a couple spots to mount the air compressor. See them? Marked them. Yeah, you probably can't see them. Anyway, marked them. Actually, where I drilled. I already marked oh, them and drilled them. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is run these screws in there just make sure they're going to go in okay. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to get it in place with these screws and then we're going to mark the other side. So here. Let's see if we can get in here. I can only get in here so far. So. So me, I'm coming in in a minute. Yeah. I like it in there. It's my house. It's my clubhouse. I'm not going very far and that's why I got them the length I did because by the time we drill through these oh, right. and then add the thickness of that it only goes in about that far okay all right so we did thunk it out some so what we're gonna do now is we have some of the shorter ones left over would you grab those out of the kitchen yeah, hold that show them please no nope. no nope, on nope. the kitchen okay let's go get the shorter ones uh, I got yesterday even, and then we found, discovered our bag of shorter ones that we already had, but here they are. These are quarter by one. Those were, I think those are quarter by twos or something. These are quarter by one, which I'm gonna use to temporarily hold this thing in place so, so we can mark and drill the other spots. Uh. All right, hard for me to reach, and I definitely can't climb in there because I'm a largish, largish. American. <laughs> we'll just say 200. I'm over 200 for sure. So what? Okay. All right. Just, just kind of give it a little easy squeeze. Mm -hmm. Jam it in just to like the easy squeeze. Well, how we, I'm not a jammer. Oops, we don't have a uh, extension. Okay, we need an extension. We have two different options here. I'm thinking the shorter one, probably. Probably, yeah, I don't need a big giant one. Okay, what's going on in here? What? What's going on in here? Um, I'm twisting this the wrong way. What's going on out there? This? <laughs> Ready, who and you? Oh my gosh. How'd you I'm get so in there? I'm so nervous. How'd I get in here? I came in backwards and I did a, some, like, I twisted myself into a pretzel yeah. and flipped around this way. Yeah. And now I'm sitting Indian style. I, I, I'm just going to say I cannot get in there. Well, that's good because that would be weird. Right? All right, so what we're doing is we're now mounting the compressor back in there out of the way. And then we'll put the tank in in a minute. Mm -hmm. We'll be back. Now we're going to set the tank. I'm trying to think <laughs> of the best way to do this. Maybe set the tank in. Uh, I couldn't go the other way. It was too claustrophobic feeling going backwards. We'll set the tank and we will um, wire it and then... Maybe we'll set the tank, drill it, then wire it. What do you think? I think that's a good idea. All right, let's do it. Okay. We'll be right back. Per usual, there has been a situation. What should have gone smoothly did not. So we have a story. What's happening down here, sir? Uh, I broke off the drain plug. Okay. I got a little tightening it. I didn't want it to leak. I got a little aggressive. You heard it here, folks. He got a little aggressive, and look what happens. This is a classic example of slow down, take your time, and don't be crazy. He's huh. teaching me a lesson, that's why. Don't laugh. So we might have to go get easy out. Yeah, I think so. We're going to have to go get easy out. I knew it was going to happen that we were going to have to go back to the store. Why don't you? I think we showed you the thing got broke. The thing? The drain plug. <laughs> I tightened it too tight. It's cheap, cheesy, Chinesey, Harbor Freight your stuff. Your muscles are so big. Yeah so big and I broke it right off anyway we went and got a plug what do you think I think it's amazing and I'm so happy that it's taken care of love it so much all right so hopefully it's not too windy and noisy we got the wind sock on what do you think Rob looks good I'm just supervising yeah doing a good job Rob's here he's he's helping out supervising he actually has been helping out he's guiding us we got food on the way this we're drinking we're some ice smash. I like that we've been hanging out outside of our trailer. It's been here multiple times. We don't hang out in it. We hang out around it. Yeah. Oh, no, I spent a bunch of time watching TV already. Well, that was like not a bunch of time. Huh. And it's a couple hours. That's when I was shopping for rugs. Anyway, so we got the compressor, the tank fixed. I mean, it will should hold air now. 
and now we're gonna wire up so this will plug in over here this has to get wired to the compressor itself because we have the compressor in the tank split because yeah, it doesn't fit anyway we'll be back that's what we're doing we already drilled some pre-drilled some holes in the floor to bolt that down we're gonna connect the wire and then we'll try this thing out we'll be back we won it's a super windy mess out here super loud but look we won we won that battle the battle with the air compressor it was a little difficult it's hard to reach in there it's pumping air right now pump it up look at that Look at all this mess just to mount an air compressor. It's ridiculous. It's stupid. Ridiculous. Look at all this room we got left. Look at all the room we got left. All right, we'll be back. What's going on in there? Huh? What's going Awkward on in stance. There? I am uh, de-decorating. I'm decorating. I'm decorating. I'm decorating. Packing up, we gotta move it to storage, we're out of time. Unfortunately we didn't we didn't get as much done as we wanted we to. A lot done. We're gonna do one last thing, we're gonna cut that mat that foam. Yeah. Uh, we packed up all the tools. Let me show you real quick. Let me show you real quick what the um, storage compartment's gonna look like. It's a little windy out here. Hopefully this uh, wind sock is doing the job. Anyway, here's what we got. This is the last item to go in there. Look at that. Pretty organized, right? Pretty cool. That's what it's gonna be like. We got a couple of little items to take care of in there, but that's the basics. Uh, we're gonna take this back out because it's gonna go in the garage and we're gonna organize our tools into it. So, but we're getting ready to take this thing back to storage. We're getting close. We're getting close. A couple more weeks and it might be ready for a trip. It'll be ready. It'll be ready. All right, we'll be back. There's a maniac in my bedroom, and he's got a knife. <laughs> Does anyone have a knife? That's better. Such so great. Is it fun? Pretty cool. You're gonna fast forward this part because it would look funner if it was faster. <laughs> <laughs> $14.97 at the Walmart. Thank you, Walmart. Black & Decker. That is a what? Black & Decker, uh... Hill Wrecker. <laughs> That's a damn good one. It's easier than scissors. 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 When we bring you back, the bed will be cut. It's going to take a long time. Okay, we finally did it. I feel like we actually did something, finally. Really? Of all the stuff you did, that's the thing that makes you feel like you did something? Yeah, but what's more important than the bed when we go Nothing. on the, actually, the car? Right. We go to ride and sleep. Right. We don't go to sleep, but we if we don't sleep, sleep we ride. can't ride. Yeah. So, what's most important? Ride, sleep. Okay, I got you. So, and there's no way I can sleep on that. No. So, yeah. We're gonna I feel accomplished. Bed. We're going to make the bed. We'll show you what it looks like. The trailer. Ready? Three, two, one. Woo! <laughs> I think I like it. I, I think like I like it. it. What do you think? I like it. Oh, man. Memory foam makes such a big difference. Good night. Yeah. All right. So, this was our last day of working on the trailer. Ideally, we got a couple of minor things before we load it up. Right. And we gotta get some tires in the car. That's easy. This is where we finished the very first video of this trailer. Oh yeah. On this bed like this. This is how we're Deciding, gonna end every video of the trailer. Yeah. On this bed. Deciding where we're gonna buy it. So, don't forget. Don't forget to subscribe. Guys, if you're not subscribed, please do. It helps us to continue to be able to do this awesome stuff. We really appreciate it. If you are subscribed, you already know how we feel about you. We love you guys. Um, so give us some likes. We like the thumbs up, but we also want to know if you hate it. Just hit that dislike button two times so I know to like stop doing what I'm doing. Um, you guys, 
leave a comment. We love hearing from you. We love talking to you. It's our favorite thing. We've met so many of you and can't wait to meet more. We got President's Day and Glamis coming up. Hope to. I know we're going to see some of you guys out there then. I already know. Oh, yeah. Um, sure. And there's so many more things that we have coming. So make sure that you do subscribe and you click that bell to get notified so that you get an email notification when the next video drops and you can be one of the cool kids. If you want to be the coolest kid, then you should join our Patreon. We'll put the link below, Cool Kids Club. That way, uh, you can see the behind-the-scenes stuff that nobody else knows. Tyler J's number one patron. He is a subscriber, and he's awesome. And um, he knows some stuff that nobody else has seen yet. So that's all I'm going to say about that. Yep. So thank you guys so much. Uh, join our Facebook group, Dandy Off-Road Adventure Seekers. Uh, we'll put the link to that below, too, so we can get to know you guys better, see where we're riding, where you're riding, join your adventures. And uh, as always, thank you guys. Yep. Thank you. And Rob Mello is getting a new KMS, too. And John Jackson's getting a new kid. <laughs>